Hello, everybody. We're back with another visual pattern challenge for you. Here is our visual pattern. It looks like an interesting one today. Uh, we've got step one here, step two here, step three here. And your challenge is to use your visual intuition to predict how many of these blocks are going to be in step four. And if you can, how many in step 43? And can you write an equation that you could use to predict the number of blocks in any step at all? So that's the challenge. If you'd like to accept that, pause the video and give it a try. All right, so let's take a look at this and see if we can sort out what's going on just by looking. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm looking at the first thing that catches my eye is this middle bar. I've got three here and then there's the three and there's two more. And then here's the five from the previous step and two more. So it looks like that middle bar is getting longer by two. So I'm just going to make a note for myself, plus two over there. Longer by two every every step. And then I think something similar is going on with the bottom, right? So here's one, and then there's two more, and then there's two more than that. So one, three, and five. So it looks like plus two is, is going on down on the bottom row, too. And then on the top, it's actually not growing out to the side like the other two. It's, it's growing up, and every turn it adds one, right? So here's one, and then plus one there and then another plus one there so i think this top part is plus one every turn so it looks like if i added all those together i'm adding five blocks every turn so let's use that knowledge to predict the number of blocks in step four let's see um this is this middle row is already at seven so if if i added two to that this would be seven plus two or nine right the bottom row here is at five if i added two to that that would be five plus two or seven and the top is at three if i added one more that'd be three plus one equals four so i get four plus nine plus seven and i think that all adds up to 20. so my prediction for step four is 20 blocks now, I don't want to use this method to predict how many are in step 43. I think that would be um, a little clumsy, a little little unwieldy. So I'm going to analyze the numbers and see if we can come up with an equation. So I'm going to make a chart first with the step number and the number of blocks in each step. So in step one, we've got five. In step two, well, we've added five, right? So that's 10. And in step three... We've added five more, so that's 15. And we're predicting in step four that we're at 20. When we analyze our numbers in a pattern like this, we like to take the differences. So 10 minus five is five, 15 minus 10 is five, 20 minus 15 is five. And when you get a constant number for these differences, what you have is a linear pattern. There's a linear rate of growth to this, to this pattern. And a linear equation, y equals mx plus b can be used to model this, this pattern. The slope is usually what we put in for m. In the sense of a pattern, that's going to be the rate of growth from step to step. So we're going to substitute in this 5, because it goes up by 5 blocks every time, for the m. And x is going to represent our step number. And then the plus b is just anything we need to use to uh, adjust this so that it works for the number of blocks that are actually there in the pattern. Uh, uh, and we usually try that out with the first step. So let's let's just go ahead and try the first step with what we have of our equation so far. So y equals 5 times, and x is the step number. So I'll plug in a 1 here in step 1. And 5 times 1 equals 5. And oh, we've got 5 blocks here. So it looks like we may not need to add anything for the plus b part. b is a 0, basically, and our whole equation would be y equals 5x. But let's test it with step 2. y equals 5 times step number 2. Yeah, 5 times 2 is 10. That's correct. 5 times 3 would be 15. So 5 times 4 would be 20. This is going to work with every step. So I'm pretty confident we have the right equation with y equals 5x. Once we've got that equation, it's not too difficult to figure out the number of blocks in step 43. We're just going to plug in 43 for x. So y equals 5 times 43. Let's see, I'll do this in my head. 5 times 40 is 200, and 5 times 3 is 15. So that's 215 blocks in step 43. Well, how did that go? Did you get 20 for step 4? 
Did you get 215? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.